All right, happy evening. <laughs> so I'm actually the worst liar ever. So it's not evening. <laughs> it's actually, <laughs> it's the morning. And it's because I couldn't do it last night. I was so burnt out. Um, so I'm still making you a video. It's just not evening, but it's okay because practice is practice whenever you choose to do it, which is a beautiful reminder that you can do these practices anytime. They don't have to be morning and evening. If you're feeling like it's three o'clock in the afternoon, you need an activation, you need some light, do a practice, right? Right here, right now, I'm creating this practice for you, even though it's not evening, to bring you a daily practice a practice of how to create your business with light, how to allow God to guide you in creation and how to create your whole life, like create your whole life from this beautiful place in your heart. So I want you to take a nice deep breath in with me. We're gonna breathe out. We're gonna fill our buckets, fill your being with light from the tips of the toes all the way up to the crown. Here we go, breathing in. Breathing in this light that's coming in through the center of the earth, breathing it up through your body, washing, cleansing the day off. And all the way up to the heart, activating your heart, activating the space of love. Breathing in through the soles of your feet, all the way out through the crown of your head, exploding magical light out the crown of your head, letting it rain down over your body cleaning off the grunge, cleaning off the exhaustion, cleaning off the energy that's not yours. Let's take your right hand up. This is your nice stretch over, tilt your head, breathe in, move what you need to move, saying hello to your beautiful body. Ah, oh, it feels like we've got some drums that want to be played. Let's play in our drums, my dear friends. Hmm, are you ready? It feels like we're gonna wake up some cleansing fire tonight. So ready, breathing in. Here we go, and In, in, in and out. Out, out and in. And out. drum clears us out with deep deep clarity so tonight i've got two stones that are calling my name so we've got this beautiful stone Let's see if you can see it i want the light to capture its magic oh. and this beautiful stone both wanting to be here tonight so i'm going to invite them in we're going to place one on each leg we're going to see if there's something that they uh they're asking for there's also another stone what is calling to me. Woo, we got some some power happening in this session. All right, we got this obsidian, obsidian pyramid triangle. I'm going to place that right. I've got um, the red one on my right leg, the crystal on my left leg, the pyramid right at the base, the base of my sacral chakra. Why are we bringing in stones tonight? This is interesting. Let's find it. Let's find it. Okay, I want you to drop in with me. Drop into your heart. We're gonna ask that the divine light will come and surround you, cleaning off your room, cleaning off your space, cleaning off your body completely, activating you and the space around you to the highest vibrational frequency to be able to hold this practice tonight. We're gonna to call in our angels and our guides, those who are here to participate with us. Who else do you wanna be here? Call in those. The goddess Isis is one of my favorite favorites to work with and she is very loud for me right now so we're going to call in the goddess Isis we're going to call in Joan of Arc I want you to call in whoever is on your board of directors those who are here those who are here to help you with your mission and your purpose call them in in and through the divine light to hold this space there is some power happening tonight Woo! I mean I know it's not tonight but it is for you so we're going to say tonight as though it is night for you okay Whoo, goodness, goodness, goodness. It is powerful. 
we're going to ask that this powerful divine light is going to come and it's going to clear off your your spiritual ears clearing out the gunk the cotton that's been plugging plugging your ability to hear god we're going to clear it out we're going to activate your ears so that you can spiritually hear messages and we're going to place the divine light right on your third eye. We're going to ask that all of your gifts so that you can see visions, so that you can hear, uh, hear spiritually and so that you can feel and know answers in and through the divine light. We're going to wake them up, activate them, allowing you to use them with agency. <sighs> what are we doing tonight? It is whoo. Okay. I don't, I don't know this practice. <laughs> so the fact that it's coming in, I'm like, I don't, I don't know this one. Um, so we're, it's literally going to have to just be taught because I don't know this. Whew. Whoa, this one's got some power to it. So tonight we are clearing out sabotage. So have you ever felt like you had all of this amazing, amazing momentum in your work, in your life, and something comes in and sabotages, something comes in and thwarts it, takes an old pattern and just rips open the success, and you're left with just a mud, a mud puddle. A bunch of broken pieces this happens to most entrepreneurs and tonight we're gonna clear it out my gosh this feels like <laughs> this feels feels big how are we gonna do it I don't know so it feels like if you could get some crystals even if you have one right so these are my healing stones and they're dedicated to my healing so I don't use them for anything other than healing um, if you don't have a crystal, could you go outside and just pick a stone? Just pick a rock off the ground. That feels important. I'm going to teach you how to prepare it for this. So pause this video, come back when you've got a stone. So I'm going to use this stone right here. This one of my favorite stones. Oh my gosh, this stone is so grounding. It, this stone actually, it brings the feminine and the masculine together. Oh my gosh, I wish you could hold it. It's so soft and so heavy. So imagine that you have your crystal or just a stone from your backyard and we're going to place it on the palms and we're going to ask the divine light to pour through this crystal, cleaning it out completely that all the energies that were, were attached to it, all of the, um, anything that was attached to the stone crystal rock, that it'll be completely cleaned and cleared, that the divine light will touch it and activate it to be here, to be grounding energy for this practice, to help you stay in your body, to help activate your gifts. So just breathing in. Breathe in that divine light. Okay. If you want to place it wherever it feels wherever your body's asking for it to be placed, that's where you're gonna place it, okay? Now, we're gonna ask that the divine will show me how are we gonna clear out sabotage? <sighs> how are we gonna clear out sabotage? This feels so big, it feels too hard. But you know what, nothing's hard with, with God, so let's find it. I don't really love this analogy that just came in, but it's not mine. It's not my, uh, doesn't matter if I don't love it. So what I'm sh being shown is a logger that, uh, his job is to cut down trees. That's why I don't like this because I don't cut down trees. We love the trees, right? But here's what I'm seeing. There's this beautiful forest and there's so many trees and it's the job of this man to cut down the trees to thin the forest. Okay. So it's good. It's, it's, here, he's thinning the forest so that it prevents wildfires okay that we're okay with this but he looks at it and it's enormous and there's no way there's no way it feels so daunting but all he has to do is go in and cut one tree at a time just one tree at a time one tree at a time and what i'm being shown with this vision is that 
sabotage feels enormous. And maybe this is a more than one video and maybe it's not, but that we just take it one tree at a time. So I want you to come in with me. And we're just going to open our palms. We're going to ask, what's the first step? What's the first step? <sighs> okay. What I'm hearing <sighs> is that sabotage comes in when we say we can't have what we want. So there's this beautiful place in our heart where we know exactly what we want. And as we get closer to it and closer to it and it starts to become real, it starts to become real. There's something inside of it that says, you've lost a dream before. You've lost a want before. You've been broken hearted. You don't get this. You don't get to have what you want. That's when sabotage comes in. It's interesting, sabotage feels like the protector. Sabotage is trying to protect us from old experiences of not getting what we wanted. Interesting, interesting, I like that. So first we're gonna get clear on what we want. So I want you to grab your piece of paper you're gonna write down right here right now tap on your heart first and you're gonna ask your heart what is it that you want more than anything right now what is it that I want more than anything oh my gosh this is so emotional for me tonight wow this is like a really powerful practice so you're gonna ask your heart what is it that you want more than anything and I'm gonna play some sound for you as you receive and you write. Try and gather my bearings here tonight, friends. time pause the video but I want you to see what you wrote down I'm gonna get a clean space for me here I'm just gonna write mine real quick just like we did with the stone. Interesting, just like we did with the stone, we're gonna ask the divine light to touch this want and ask that this want will be held in love, that we will allow our bodies to receive it, that we will allow our bodies to receive it into the cells of our being to be held in this love. And I want you to give yourself permission to have this. You didn't give yourself permission to hold this. And then you're gonna ask your angels to open the pathway so that this want becomes true. Opening up the pathways, opening up the pathways and allowing your body to receive this. Receive this, you get to have this and all the pieces that want to come in and sabotage and all the pieces that want to shut you down, all the pieces that want to hijack this desire. We're going to ask that Christ will come and gather them in and place them in a sphere of light and take them out. So they have no space inside of you. So they have no more tethers to you. So you are free. We're going to ask the divine love to come in and activate your heart, activate your cells, feeling as though this want has already been given. This want has already been received. This want is already here. It's already yours. It's already here. Taking a deep breath in. Get your arms together. Facing both hands like this. Feeling your heart. And letting your body know that you are safe to receive your desires. You are safe to receive your wants. 
You are re safe to receive this, this beautiful want and desire inside of you. You're safe to receive it. It is divinely yours. It is divinely yours. It is divinely yours. Oh, there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to place this beautiful shield of light around you from the top of your head all the way down to your toes allowing your body to be safe in this desire and allowing your body to be safe in receiving it. I want you to pick up your stone and I want you to keep this with you today that at any time you feel like you can't have what you are desiring, that this stone is a reminder that you were already given it. We are not given desires that are not ours. We're not given dreams that aren't ours to have come true. For example, I don't ever dream of having my own mechanic shop. Like it's not mine. It's not my dream. So it's not like I don't have that dream because it's not mine to have. But there's somebody else where that's their dream because that's theirs to have. It's their gifts, it's their purpose, it's their mission. The dreams that I have, I'm given them because they're mine. We don't dream for things that aren't already ours. Oh my gosh, how magical is that, right? The dreams that you have are different than my dreams because they're your dreams. They are the end result of the recipe inside of your body. Your DNA makeup, your gifts, your purpose all create a recipe and the end result is that dream. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. I love that. <sighs> so today we clear out all the things that say we can't have what we want and dream for because it is safe to receive them now. Oh my goodness, this was such a beautiful practice. Oh my goodness, my goodness. And you know what? That didn't take seven hours. We did that in seven minutes. One log at a time. Wow, that felt so huge and it was so easy. So come back, come back to this practice every single time you feel yourself getting in the way of a dream. Every time you feel sabotage creeping its little hands back into your life, let's clear that shit out, okay? Like clear it out. It's only causing you pain and it's depriving you of the magic that is wanting to come to you. Oh, my friend, what a beautiful practice. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanking our guides for being here. Thanking God for being with us. I mean, this is magic. We just played in the realm of miracles. <sighs> with that, my dear friend, may you rest well tonight. May you feel your dreams roll in like the most beautiful clouds. And may you allow them to sprout up like flowers. Mm. I will see you in the morning. <laughs>